He's also setting up a new podcast focused on food, farming and environmental issues. We're delighted to say that Neil joins us now. Neil, thank you very much for, for joining us this morning. I, I just wanted to start by saying, you know, it's, I think it's four months or so since you resigned from Parliament. And I just wondered, you know, now the dust settled a bit, what, what's your reflection on, on, on that uh, events, on the events leading up to your resignation? Well, I think it's sort of. I think the shock has has subsided. Um, I'm sort of getting on with life. I've um, got a life here uh, back on the farm, which I've always been jealous to keep, and so therefore, you know, I'm I'm sort of concentrating on that. I've also sort of you 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 reflect on life, don't you, when when you hit a brick wall um, so hard. And um, what I'm doing is thinking now, what what have I got that I can offer the country? What can I do to actually say to people, I've got some ideas that, that I've had all my life uh, that I want to further. And so this is the idea, you know, of, of the podcast. This is the idea of looking at food, farming, uh, looking also uh, making sure we're producing enough food, but also getting food out to the poorest in society where we really are going to have to do some good. So, you know, I, I'm looking forward really um, to using my sort of expertise over the years, I hope, to do some real good because we do need to have greater food security, cost of living is huge problem you know energy and food are, are very expensive um, and let's really do something about it genuinely and and that's what i'm doing and then my political career one way or the other um i will take a decision as we move to, uh, towards the general election just I'm, and I'm, I'm really pleased that you're sort of looking forwards and that you're doing your podcast and you're, you're seeing things in, in that light but do, i mean do you do you regret resigning neil i mean i've got to say that lots of my constituents at the time said, I, I can't understand why he's resigned. You know, what he, what he did, it might have been wrong, it might have been distasteful, it might have, you know, people might say it might have been immoral, but it wasn't illegal. And, and so why did he have to resign? Do, do, you, do you regret making that decision now or do you think it was the right decision for you? No, I think it was the right decision. It was one that I took with my family, um, with my wife, um, and she has stood by me through my whole political career and helped me. Um, and so it was very much a joint joint decision. You make a mistake, you fess up, uh, and you take the consequences. Um, I think what is difficult in, in political life, um, sometimes I think when you do come clean uh, and tell the truth quite rightly, um, it's quite difficult then to rehabilitate yourself. But I think I am going Going to try and I still think there's a lot of good in me. Um, I did actually have, although I say it myself, a pretty good political career and I worked very hard not only in Parliament but for my constituents and especially you know for the Environment, Food and Rural Affairs Select Committee which I think I would be considered as a very good chair. So you know let's, let's not sort of I've, I've got to stop really it's not about me anymore you know what you've got to remember in politics is we're we're rather about ourselves if we're not careful um, it's really you know what, what was it Kennedy said not what America can do for you what you can do for America so I think now it's very much what can I do for society, what can I do in, for the particular interests I've got in food, farming and... Uh, and, and, Neil, and Neil, I will yeah. say people remember you as a good guy in politics. I remember all that you did during lockdown for the wedding industry. We were going to work together on uh, a food debate, a big backbench business food debate. That's why I was particularly interested in what you say is what you want to do to pay back, to help back. So tell us about this podcast. What are you hoping to get across to the public? Right. Well, Esther, it is nice to see you as well as uh, this morning. So, yeah, I mean, it's really, I think, um, I don't want it to be sort of like a, a me just sort of pontificating on life. And so, therefore, it will be interviewing others, you know, that are producing good food, uh, those that are actually going into sort of public procurement and delivering local food into our hospitals and schools. Um, also, like I said, looking at, at charities who are delivering food to those that most need it um, in, in, the, in the country. So I think, you know, it's, it's a combination, not of just a monologue from my good self. I mean, I could, you know, I'm a true politician. I could pontificate on the world <laughs> every morning. 
um, but I'm not sure everybody in the world would want to hear me pontificating. So, so it's a case, you know, of linking in, and, and the, you know, the people that I know, the people I know are doing good, uh, and, and highlighting that. And you see, land is a finite resource, and we're, we're asking it to do so much. We're asking us to feed us, we're asking to plant more trees, um, and we're asking it to produce energy with solar farms. So let's sort of prioritise food and make sure we use the more marginal land for environment uh, and also for, for solar panels. And, and more okay, solar okay. panels need to go on roofs and less on fields. So I got plenty of campaigns in, in the office. I know you have. Well.